majority of the competitors for a variety of reasons. Bert and Cohen overshot and then got confused. Nkunchiri didn't make the turn on his first attempt. And then managed to get it pointed in the right direction. Kaka Jr., who is normally a regular top five finisher in events, and navigator Dennis Ogari, who was the Ugandan National Junior Navigator Champion in 1998, retired in the stage with a camshaft failure. Jamil and Ashad Khan also took a wide line round the hairpin. It was left to the ladies, however, to show the gentlemen the quick way around a hairpin corner. Tender and Tongo also overshot. Notice the distinct lack of appropriate headgear for competing in a rally. Umar Mukibi and Adam Kazozi also found the left turn instruction a little confusing. <laughs> Unfortunately for Cox and Vinderfurkel, they had to retire their Toyota Corolla after the stage with a blow in head gasket. But and Kuan in the Subaru Impreza had finally lost fourth gear altogether. The teeth coming out in bits and pieces. So, that's your fourth gear or what's left of it? I'm just driving in one gear, which is number five. I take off with number one and then I go straight into five. And then throughout the section, I don't change any gear. As the army ants marched on, so did the rally. The end was in sight. But there was to be a cruel twist in the tail for Green and Seedy. The Subaru destroyed its gearbox after a jump in stage 12, and they were out. Handing second place to the lumping Faisal Butt and Hittish Kuan. Repeat of nine proved once again to be a test for the crews. As for Bailey, he appeared to be enjoying himself in the Caltech sponsored Toyota Celica, even if he was a little enthusiastic at times. Faisal Butt, with no fourth gear, was now cruising. Sylvia Vinderfurkel had come out to see how the guys were doing. Ngunjiri fared better than in stage nine. Jamil Khan also managed to get around with a lot less drama than in stage nine. They eventually finished fourth overall. Elifta Mitraros put on a show for the crowd. He and Paganin finished sixth.
Sergeant Lule and Kenyan Navigator Tuita Karanja in the Class N4 Subaru, however, had a problem with that pesky left turn instruction. The Army Sergeant has only been rallying for three years and finished a creditable fifth overall. Mukibi and Adam Kazozi in the 1969 Nissan 120Y, a former safari rally chase car, with the last of the finishers coming home in seventh overall. The end of a tough rally which had seen the Kenyans dominate. Bailey and Sidi taking a well-deserved victory from second placed and lucky to finish Faisal Butt and Hitchish Kuan. John Ngunjiri and Dave Macharia were third overall and the first Group N car home. I feel great because being in a Poland country and winning Group N is a win. I feel very proud of it. So it's good. I feel happy about it. With top four places going to the Kenyans and only two Ugandan teams finishing, it was a fair result considering the poor Ugandan entry. Well, we came 